Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 11. When we last left off, we explored Level 10 and got a few upgrades. With that said, let's start exploring Level 11. Welcome to Sword. Holy shit, right off the bat we gotta face six gangsta goblins. I don't think I want any. I'm running. Cowards. Teleporter activated! That teleporter just takes us to a different area on level 11. Oh, what now? Oh no! Six leprechauns. I'm running. Of course, the leprechauns got to get their 20 hits in before I can run. I hate that. Cowards. Welcome to Sword. And that's the stairs back to level 10. Really, game? Every random encounter I gotta face six enemies? Give me a break! Cowards. Oh wow, it's not six enemies, it's three ugly blue snakes. Kill them! Psychedelic dev. I haven't hardly done anything on this level, but it's starting to get annoying really fast. Cowards. Yes! Now let's pass through this wall and see what's on the other side. Oh, a group of six snakes. I will face six snakes because they're a little weaker than the other enemies. These are the stairs to level 12, but let's not take them just yet. In this room there are two teleporters. They will teleport us to the same place as that first teleporter. So let's not take them, it'll only be a waste of time and I'll have to backtrack. Wow, I'm going a long ways before I run into an enemy. Ah, me and my big mouth. Bye-bye, snakies. I'm not afraid of you zombies. Come get you some. Okay, so am I right? Some of your brains! These zombies are relentless. They just never give up.
Now what? Oh, a gangster goblin. You're done. Hey, here we go again. Every step, I gotta run into monsters. It happens every episode. Well, at least I got to take a few steps before I ran into some phantoms. Go woo somebody else. You don't scare me, Phantoms. Jack is awarded the Mage Ring for kicking so much ass. That will be an upgrade for Claire. Oh hell no, I'm not fighting six goblins, I'm running. Cowards. And if you noticed, we've come full circle. That was just a couple goblins, now let's head down here. Magic Fountain, magicians may drink and replenish all their magic points. Awesome. This is the worst part about this level. The next 13 steps I take, I will run into six enemies. These battles are long and annoying, so I'll be editing some of them out. This battle has been going on for over 30 seconds, and I haven't even killed one phantom yet. There we go, finally killed one of the bastards. See how these battles can just drag out? Finally, got the psychedelic phantom death. Zombies. Leprechauns that took about five minutes. More zombies. Phantoms. Goblins. And some more goblins. Jay is awarded the plate for kicking so much ass. But that's not an upgrade. Now we get some snakes. Guess what? More phantoms. Oh boy, more goblins. Now you see how frustrating this game can get. What's next? Oh, more zombies. Oh great, it's snakes. For bravery and valor, your party is promoted to experience level 15. And the last enemy is some phantoms. From here on out, all enemies will be random. Who wants some now? Oh, three leprechauns, bring it on. I know this is going to take a minute, even with just three leprechauns. These guys are still a pain in the ass.
it might just be me, but it seems like after one of my characters attacks, all three of the leprechauns get to attack me. I've been fighting for about a minute now, and I haven't even put a dent into their health. There we go, now I'm finally getting somewhere. It's like a duck dead. When you turn right to victory, walk straight into a wall, turn right and repeat. Nothing in here. All these blacked out areas below my character are teleporters to level 10. Oh great, more leprechauns. Even two of these guys take a while to kill. Time we kill these annoying assholes. At this point, I'm running out of magic points. But don't worry, I know where a magic fountain is. Magic fountain. Magicians may drink and replenish all their magic points. Awesome! Here's one tip you should use. If you know where a magic fountain is, go ahead and heal all your guys up before you use the magic fountain. Not afterwards. I'm a dumbass. Whoa, I almost killed these snakes before I even knew they were snakes. You have found 200 gold pieces. And I have also found two very unlucky snakes. Who's bugging me now? Oh, a leprechaun? Oh, you're going to get your ass kicked. Jack is awarded the blood dagger for kicking so much ass. I think he's already got that weapon, so it's not an upgrade. Now what? Three snakes? Bring it on. Foot mash for the win. This gangsta goblin's about to get jacked. Oh shit, five zombies. Uh, at this point, I think I'll pass. I'm gonna run. Why are you running, you chicken shit? No, zombie, I'm not chicken shit, but I am a coward. I just walked in the same spot. Now it's three zombies. What happened to your other two buddies? They got jumped by some gangster goblins. Well, that's just too bad for you, zombies, because now you're going to die. Merle is awarded the magic plate for kicking so much ass. And that's going to be an upgrade for Jay. Jeez, these monsters just won't leave me alone. I wish they would have put a set amount of monsters on each level besides unlimited. Jack is awarded the crush maze for kicking so much ass. But that is not an upgrade.
nothing over here. Welcome to your doom, gangsta goblins. Whoa, oh, six zombies, I'm running. Cowards. Ouch. Okay, I'm guessing that door's locked. Thirteen ways to the dark crystal, but only the lowest one is safe. Alright, it's only six snakes. We can take care of this. Whoopin' that ass, whoopin' that ass. Come on, guys, hurry up. I ain't got all day. Magic fountain. It appears to be dry. Oh, really? One leprechaun. Oh, you're in for it. I actually went back and looked at the tape of this. This leprechaun actually gets eight attacks on me before he dies. That's ridiculous. It's four against one. Claire is awarded the crush maze for kicking so much ass. If you remembered one of the clues earlier, it said when you were at the tip of the sword, turn seven times. So let's do that. You have found a ruby sword. Jay is holding it. That's the best sword in the game, and Jay will have it. Somewhere a door unlocks. And I bet the door that was unlocked was the one that made me go ouch earlier. Magic fountain. It appears to be dry. You have found 500 gold pieces. 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 Awesome, that's like 3,000 gold. Now it's time to get out of here and take the stairs to level 12. Super fast ass whooping. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 11. Thanks again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for Part 12.